What is up, everybody? Mrs. Road Rush here with Sherman here to curse away all the evil spirits. Today, we're watching horror animations. And we're going to see how this is going to go. We also have Ned. We also have Ned here. way longer than it should for me to realize it, too. Like, I just figured I was, I don't know, intense, passionate, whatever you want to call it. When actually, kind of what I feel for guys scared, is, honestly, well, as my psychiatrist put it, it's unhealthy. Whenever I have a crush on a guy, it builds and builds until it's almost completely out of control. Sure, I get the usual stuff at first. Butterflies in my tummy. That giddy euphoria people feel when their crush is around. But I get other things, too. Like, there's a lot more, and some things that people might consider kind of scary, too. When I like a guy, they're constantly on my mind. They're usually the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning, and usually the last thing I think about before I sleep, too. I look up every social media account they have, and guys tend to be much less careful about their privacy settings. Wait, so is this about the girl, so or is this about this guy? I make sure to see every single post, every comment, every friend, every photo they're in. I check their social media accounts usually more than four or five times a day. I also Google them online, hoping to stumble across anything new. For years, I told myself that I just like knowing... Okay, so she's stalking him. Like, isn't that the point of loving someone? To no. know them as well as you know yourself? I mean... Well, again, according to my psychiatrist... You have to get to know each other, not just one person getting to know one I person. I track down where they live and spend way too long on Google Street View, just admiring the place. What? I never go by or do anything, though. I never want the crush to know how obsessed I really am. Oh, that's fucked up. You know I how I feel about this? Horrifying. My psychiatrist says, this is how I yeah, know that's what I'm how doing I feel about it. Why he knew we could make progress if I put my mind to it. I also tell Every time they say things. something that she needs to, to fucking pop a chill pill for, I'm gonna hit this shit button. That isn't me, but it really tears me up inside. I grow to hate their friends and family immensely. Self-inserting myself into every little moment of their lives and telling myself, it better be with me, more fun, Psychopath. More, more magical and memorable. How intensely I like someone tends to be based on how long I spend around them and in what context. Like the less I see them, the less I like them. The more I see them, it's like I'm exposed to something they're pumping out, like seeds taking root in my brain almost. A good example would be... Who gave this woman drugs? In fifth grade, I liked this guy. In sixth grade, the same guy, I became obsessed with him. Summer rolled around and I stopped. School started, I started liking him again. Repeat for eighth grade. If I had this bun every single really time good. I've heard some fucking like crazy ass shit, bro, this whole video would just be... Live with <laughs> this time, but then out of sight, out of mind, too. She's fucking crazy. I know that's not how other people function. No. Normal people miss someone no matter how far away they are. Not even just no that. How long it's been since no one goes to the length this bitch is going to. Me, if you do, please get fucking help, bro. You're, you're fucking guys. weird. I can't control my emotions, even with the medication I'm given. It's one of the biggest challenges I've Give her some perp 30s, bro. If I didn't care so much about what I thought my crush thought of me, I would show up to his house and look in through the window, hoping to see him. I would pester all his friends to get every bit of info about him. I thank God sometimes that I've not gone too far. That I still have one foot grounded in reality, even if the other is hovering over the abyss. No, I don't think so. Judging from what I've said so far, I'm guessing that most of you would assume me to be a violent person. Oh, well, that's the first thing, the first thing she said today that, like, wasn't, theme. like, crazy and out there. But in fact, I'm the opposite of that. No. no one I know would ever think of me with such thoughts. I would. I'm bubbly and kind towards those who are kind towards me. I never resort to Yeah, because they don't know that you're fucking obsessed with them. Personality. No one even has a clue how obsessive my thoughts get, and aside from this little confession, I tend to keep things that way. I hate how I get so attached to people, but as my psychiatrist says, release yourself aware. I feel like it doesn't make it any more okay. And I despise myself for it. I pretend not to be obsessed all the time and refrain from speaking about the person 24-7, even though I want to. Because I don't want friends and, most importantly, my crush knowing about my condition. I just wanted to do that because that was funny. Like, I'm terrified it'll <laughs> ruin my life because people will judge me for it without getting to know me. Yeah. I guess that's part of why I'm writing this, too. 
Bottom line is, I need help on how to cope with these feelings if I can. I surprisingly let go very easily. You know that kid who moved in 8th grade that I was obsessed with for like three years? I don't know how old she is and I how to tell him this. I was shocked and sad for about 15 minutes and then didn't really care. It was like whatever bug inside my brain just said, oh well, on to the next one I guess. So, my issue is just how to handle my feelings when I like someone. Keep in mind, this is just a light description of my issue. I felt a lot more than what I described here so far. I hope I get over my current crush over the summer and don't have any classes with him next year. I pray I'm you do. Call for him again. I pray you get over this man for his own me. sake. They better watch out. I've only had four crushes in total in my life so far. Oh, well, that is it for today. Thank you.